All right, welcome back to Everyday Erase. Today I'm gonna show you how to remove a timing gear, timing belt crank gear out of a 2.3 turbo or even a non-turbo 2.3 or 2.5. Now I just did a tear down on this uh, 2.5 liter that came out of a 99 Ranger. And I spent quite a bit of time and uh, it was no fun trying to get the gear off from the crankshaft. So, I could get this timing cover off and remove the crankshaft. And the reason it was pretty difficult is because of these dowels. One and two, they keep they keep the cover on there like so. And uh, the timing gear is real close to the cover. So you don't have enough room to pull it up and drop the whole thing. So today... I have to do the exact same thing and uh, remove this uh, gear and then remove the cover so I can remove the crankshaft and uh, put this uh, block for storage. So I went and got this uh, puller, actually rented it from uh, O'Reilly's and then I, it, it was the smallest one, but unfortunately it's just doesn't have it's too big so i bought this w140 gear puller it's a two jaw extractor de engranajes so i think that means gear puller in spanish and that's what it looked like before and i decided to give it a go here we go here's what it looks like Due to continuing improvement, actual product may differ slightly from photo shown. So, I tried to get it in there and it was just too wide. So, what I did is I cut some material from the jaws so I could get the puller in there. At first, I would slide this one in here, and then since it's a, there's another space right here, I would just move it around until it would clear this side, and then I can move it anywhere, any way I want to. So, gotta make sure it's nice and straight. Then, you just turn this thing, I'll put it on the crankshaft, it's just smaller than the bolt, there it goes. Put it inside, I, I'm not done with this puller, I'm going to go and get a bolt, a grade 8 bolt. It's a little bit longer and it has a, a head on it, so I can use small impact to make the uh, gear pulling much quicker so let me get this in there so all you gotta do is you just gotta hold it make sure it doesn't move obviously it's easier with two hands and then you gotta spin it in and then there it goes. Now this one wasn't very stuck, stuck, but it's stuck enough that I can't get it out with my hands or even two screwdrivers. So all you do is you spin it until you max out. That's why I'm going to get a longer bolt. So now I have to undo it. Remove the whole thing, put the OEM bolt in there. Like so. And spin it and the whole gear will come out.
just like that and then be able to take the four bolts and get a flathead screwdriver and pop the cover off oh well, see now this one doesn't have the dowels so the apparently the older uh, design uh, 88 and older are better or smart so and just like that I'll be able to remove the uh, crankshaft and I'll be able to change the seal because now it's a lot easier to change the change the seal so that's gonna be it for today Thank you for watching and have a good day.